With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? The wheel of a mov uh, moving vehicle are made hollow in the middle and thick at the periphery because it gives moment of it gives minimum moment of inertia to the tire. Its uh, shape is a strong one. This increases the speed or it increases moment of inertia of the wheel. Okay, so let's say let us draw one of our wheel. Let's say this is our wheel. Okay, this is our solid wheel. And let's say let us draw a hollow wheel. So let's say this is our wheel. This is the outer diameter. So outer diameter is basically same and we are making some portion to be hollow. Okay. Now this is our portion which has been which has which is having the mass and the inner portion is basically hollow. So what will happen? And here all the mass is concentrated throughout the wheel. Okay. Now we know that moment of inertia is what moment of inertia is basically m into r square. Okay. Now while we are doing it to be hollow while we are making it to be hollow what we are actually doing we are actually increasing the distance of the mass from the axis because this is moment of inertia about some axis. So for example, if, if this is the axis, so what we are doing initially there was mass present here, but now we have cut the mass from here and we have sent it to a higher radius. That means at a higher distance. So what will it do? It will increase the moment of inertia. Okay. Now if R is increased, that means moment of inertia would be increased. Now if moment of inertia is increased, what will happen? So that means it would have a greater torsional resistance. That means if a vehicle is moving, okay, moment of inertia, what does it define? It is the, uh, it is basically doing the same role as the mass which uh, doing in the translational motion. Moment of inertia does the same role in rotation as the mass does in uh, this translation. So we see that if an object is at rest, at rest, it has a tendency, tendency, tendency to be at rest, to be at rest. Now, while an object is in motion, in motion, okay, so it would be having a tendency to be in motion. Now, if we are increasing moment of inertia, we are increasing basically either the uh, uh, this tendency of rest or tendency of motion. But generally, what we are doing, we are driving some vehicle. So, in the driving vehicle, what we need to do, we need to uh, basically increase its tendency of motion. Why? Because if we are even if we are not giving power from the engine then also we need to drive the vehicle. Okay. For example, we are not pedaling, then also we want our bicycle to move. So how can we maintain a tendency of motion by increasing the value of the moment of inertia? So why it is done basically to increase the moment of inertia. So it does not uh, minimizes moment of inertia. Basically, it would be increasing moment of inertia. So D would be the correct option. Now, it shape is a strong one. So it is not related to the strong shape because we can make a strong shape either in this way or in this way as we wish. Okay. This increase in the speed. No, it has no relation with the increase in the speed. So it is only related with the increasing of the moment of inertia. So D is the correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.